I'd like for you all to imagine you're taking a trip and think of all the things you need to consider. You need money to get there. You need a safe route clear of bad weather. You need food along the way because you'll get hungry. And you need a place to stay once you arrive. Now this might not seem too complicated, but imagine you're not just going from Peterborough to Toronto, you're going all the way from the Hudson Bay down to South America. And you're doing this without a Google, without a map, without even a car. This is the challenge that my study species, the Wimbrel, faces every year. This incredible bird breeds in Canada's Arctic and subarctic, and in the fall travels as far south as the tip of Chile, where it will remain for the winter. Suffice it to say, there's a lot of things that could go wrong along this journey. Just like we could run out of money, they could run out of energy. They could run into bad weather along the way. They might run out of food, and they can't just stop in at any subway to get a $5 footlong. Or, and they could fail to find a place to stay once they arrive down in South America. Now, while the challenges that Wimbrel face are fascinating, they're also a big problem for researchers like me. You see, there's one thing about the Wimbrel I haven't told you yet. You see, they're in decline, and we don't really know why. Is it something happening in the breeding grounds? Is it a lack of food along the migration route? Is it that they can't find habitat in their southern wintering grounds? We're not really sure, and studying all of this at once is a massive logistical challenge. So where do I come in? Well, in order to tackle this problem, we first need to understand where Wimbrel are actually traveling. And for my study population, those breeding along the southern coast of the Hudson Bay, this is a necessary but little understood piece of information. For my project, I attached trackers to the backs of Wimbrel, and I monitored their movements throughout fall migration. Using that information, I was able to produce this map. So each black line here is a different individual traveling south for their migration. And as you can see, there's a diversity of different migration patterns that are used by individuals. So our conservation approach for the species needs to be flexible. Also, you can see that there are some areas that a lot of different individuals like to go. For example, the coast of Maine here is a lot more popular than right along the Gaspé Peninsula. That means that this might be an area that's warranted for further study. So why does this really matter? Why do I care about the Wimbrel? Well, as we stand on the brink of a six mass extinction, every piece of biodiversity that we can protect is of vital importance, especially when we're talking about species like the Wimbrel that transverse the entire Western Hemisphere and touch so many different ecosystems along the way. Ultimately, I see my project as a small part of a much more important whole. Thank you very much.